Hey folks, we're going to answer a question that we got in the comment section today. Seems to be a lot of new viewers. This question's getting asked a good bit, and it should be a good review for those who have heard it before, um, even if it uh, has been fairly recently. Always good to get this concept straight in one's mind, and then we'll have a couple minor administrative things at the end. But we actually begin answering the question of when Earth's magnetic shift is going to really hit its stride by going and debunking something that came out a couple of years ago. Unfortunately, this is one of several times MIT has simply gotten it wrong. Uh, MIT says we are not due for a magnetic reversal anytime soon, that Earth's shifting magnetic field is nothing to worry about, and the rationale that they use is that, well, at this time, Earth's magnetic field is much stronger than it has been in the past, and so we'd still have a long, long way to go down before we actually get to the reversal point. It would have been nice if after the first time I tried to debunk this, we had this paper, but we hadn't uh, seen this one appear in the journals yet. But the point of this one is that the current strength of the field has absolutely no bearing on when it's reversing. When it's time, it's time. Doesn't matter if it's low, medium, or high field strength. When it's time for the reversal, you're going to get it. And so the entirety of the argument presented by MIT goes out the window. Of course, we had seen this from Berkeley, uh, basically stating that Earth's magnetic field can shift within a human lifetime, about 80 years. Now, the modern Earth's magnetic shift actually began about 160 some years ago, so we are already definitely in the red zone. There have been several magnetic reversals that have happened in the past these magnetic pole shifts that occurred in less time than we are into this current one. Furthermore, back in about 2000, there was a study and NASA put out uh, some articles about it. A couple other folks put out articles about it. Earth had lost 10% of the magnetic field from about 1859 to the year 2000. But that number was updated to 15% in just 2010. Now, if you can do the math in your head, it took... 150 years to lose 10%, and then we lost five more percent in only 10 years. This is something that has been said to have been increasing from 5% loss per century to 5% loss per decade. And these newest updates, of course, come from the ESA swarm project, the swarm satellites that are actually monitoring Earth's magnetic field. In addition to the fact that in 2017 and 2020, we had geomagnetic jerks that indicated accelerations of this magnetic field shift, we know that it's going to just keep accelerating and accelerating and accelerating. This paper was critical. This is the one that said, when it's hitting its peak acceleration, when we are in the full, full on, um, you know, full on track to getting our magnetic pole shift, the shift will be a hundred times faster than it is today. Now, exactly how long it's going to be before we hit that deepest acceleration, that is a question mark. Good chances are that it's going to be during one of the geomagnetic jerks. We should have had one probably in the last year. We'll probably be getting at least one more this decade and uh, then one around 2030, 2033, 2034. They happen about every three and four years. And we have been seeing that each time they happen, this shift is accelerating more and more and more. And so this is why, as we have said before, we peg this time between the 2030s and 2040s. Why such a wide range? Because we don't know if the next couple accelerations are going to be more modest jumps forward or if we're going to hit the, the really strong acceleration and get to that 100 times faster than today uh, at an earlier point. But whether you go with that worst case scenario or these incremental jumps, the window is about the 2030s to the 2040s. And so even though that seems like quite a bit of time, um, our time to prepare for these things is not that long. And here's why. First, there's going to come a point where Earth's magnetic field gets so weak that the sun's going to send something our way and it's going to take out global power. When that happens, you're done moving. You're done figuring out where your bug out location is. You're done going to the store. You're done prepping. 
it's multiple disasters that we have on deck. But after that first one, you better be ready for all of them already because there's no way to actually get ready for the other ones if the infrastructure upon which civilization is built breaks down. And so, again, one of several times MIT has gotten it wrong, Earth's magnetic field can flip very quickly. We are already in the red zone based on what is possible. We have been seeing accelerations, and we know that when it gets to its peak acceleration, we will only have a couple of months left. Remember, we can't be just waiting around until the latter portion of this decade to start prepping because by then it might be too late. For all we know, the sun could take out global power next week. We are at sunspot maximum. Now it is my opinion that we have a greater than 50% chance of making it through this sunspot cycle, which would put the main danger zone from the sun in the early to mid 2040, uh, I'm sorry, 2030s, uh, based on when the next 11 year sunspot cycle will be. But the time to be getting ready and doing all of these things is now. What does that mean? First of all, if you don't already know that you should be prepping to have extra food, extra water, extra seeds, pre-industrial, non-electric tools in order to plant them, if you don't know that you should be having guns, if you should be having books, if you should be learning new skills, now you do. That's sort of the foundational basic minimum of prepping, the knowledge and the items that you need to survive. For those who were wondering on our live stream uh, about Cobra Tate's The Real World, guys, I and as I said on the live stream, I recognize this isn't right, this isn't fair. We don't live in a fair world and the deck is stacked against us, but that does not change the absolutely true fact that prepping and getting ready to the best of your abilities to survive what's coming and have your family survive what's coming takes money. I do not know a better way to learn how to make money fast or more easily than learning those skills in the real world. You've got a link to that down below. You also have a link down below to observe a ranch for those who are ready. Um, and at this point, we are looking at folks who are ready to begin this preparation process and can be investors in the business, I'm looking for business partners. There's a link to observe a ranch down below. Send us an email through that have several other links down there below, including the Earth Disaster Playlist, which can tell you a lot more in detail about all of the things that we are expecting over the coming years, and also a link list to all those papers you saw here in this video. Anyway, Earth's magnetic pole shift. It's the most important natural science story nobody is talking about. And while for the time being, the terrifyingly changing landscape of social, political, and economic issues is the biggest threat to all of us. There's going to come a time when the earth and the sun attack, and they are going to be far, far more severe and unforgiving than what the idiots in charge of this world are doing to us at the moment. Anyway, check those links down below the video. I will see you in the morning for the daily show. Be safe, everyone.